Hi, I wanted to show you how you start the Millie Arachne Bob and Lace bookmark pattern found in my Etsy shop. So how we begin, and the pattern as well shows you that you want to hang two pairs on the top three pins and you want to join those pairs to each other on the pins. And remember how you do that is you twist each of your pairs once and then one, two, three, four, two over three, two and four, back over one and three, two over three. Set those to the side for a moment. Twist, twist, join the pairs. And again, twist, twist, join the pairs. Now go back to the middle and you're going to work this middle pair out and this middle pair out. So back to the middle and work the pair out. And now you have in the middle, you're going to cross these a bit like if you're working a spider. So these two pairs, these four threads are going across and these four are going across. Tension, tension. And now in the middle, you want to place the first pin on the spider here and close that pin. But before we close it, let's make sure that everything is tensioned really well up at the top so that nothing's loose up there. And now we're going to close the pin. One, two, three, four, two over three, two and four back over one and three, two over three. Now these two pins, or these two pairs that are hanging down from that middle pin, these are the working pair, and these on the sides are going to be the passive pairs which form a border around your bookmark. So let's start on this side. What we, what we do here is we're going to work, let me adjust the length a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, we're going to work this to the outside to the first pin up there. So we're just working these across. Place the first pin. I'm going to twist this outside pair just once and work it back through the two passive pairs. I'm going to place the next pin underneath and I can hang the first working pair for the spiders in the middle. I'm going to start with this pretty red color. And again, we have to join these two pairs. So I'm going to twist this and twist this. And then we do one, two, three, four, two over three, two and four back over one and three, two over three. And now this pair is ready in the middle. And this working pair to create that border edge needs to be worked back out again. We work it out, place a pin. I'm twisting that outside pair one time and working it all the way back in. And then I place my next pin. And I can hang my next color for the spider, which will be orange. adjust the length of this really quickly. So twist, twist, join that pair that's in the middle now, and my working pair goes to the outside edge, place a pin, twist once, and back in. Place the pin, and that's how this goes all the way down. So let me add my next color. Make sure that it has a twist so that they're joined. Work it to the outside. Place my pin. Work it back to the middle. 
place the next pin. Place the next color. Make sure it has a twist and a twist. And showing that pair goes to the outside edge. Place a pin. Needs one twist on the outside edge. Work it back in. Place the next pin. Add the next color. Twist. Twist. This one goes out. One twist, pin, next color, twist, twist, join these, this can go to the outside end. I'm just doing the length of these. Place my pin, my little froggy pin. Twist once. I gotta make sure it's twisted. Yep, it's twisted. In. Place my pin. The next color for this is actually another black. Oh, I'll make sure that has a twist. Make sure they're both twisted. This goes to the outside edge. Place my pin. Make sure it's twisted. Bring it back in. And this also, we're going to put a pin here and it needs one more. One more pair. So make sure that's twisted. There we go. And I can work this out for me as well. And then it's just ready for when I'm ready to work it along the end. Okay, and now I'm going to, so that I remember, I'm going to, this is my working pair. I'm going to keep that off to the side. These two passive pairs I'm going to keep together. And then these, I'm just going to get out of the way and just the length a little bit. And I can do the same thing along the outside of this edge. So let me show you what that looks like quickly. So we're going through, through, place a pin. Make sure it's twisted one time, bring it back, place the next pin, and hang my first color. Twist, twist, make sure they're twisted so that they join properly, and there you go. And now I can work this one back out. Place my pin. Make sure there's one twist on this outside pair at least. Bring it back in. Place my pin. And then I can keep adding my colors all the way down. So stay tuned for the next part of the series and I will show how to make the cathedral window spider once I have all of my pairs along the edges. Okay, here's a quick little tutorial about the cathedral window spiders within the Milia Rockne pattern. Um, the spiders have one, two, three legs on this side, one, two, three on this side, and the way we begin it is we're going to twist all of the legs once and then remember for 
the cathedral window spider, we're going to bring these three across and these three across. So they're switching places. Let's see. Let me start over so I <laughs> make sure I go nice and slow. So remember it's one, two, three, four, two over three, two and four back over one and three, two over three, and then you go to the next. Two over three, two and four back over one and three, two over three, two over three, two and four back over one and three, two over three. So that red thread has now switched to the opposite side and we do the same with the orange and yellow threads. And once we have them switched, we're going to tension, tension, tension up to the dot in the middle. And then it makes sure that everything is nice and tensioned again so that all of the legs are how they should be. And then you find the middle and you go to the middle on the outside of the pin. And this yellow thread is going to work its way back. So we do the same, two over three, two and four back over one and three, two over three. And now this one is done. This one is going to go here. And now the orange one needs to move in place. The orange one will be the second pinhole and the red will be the third. So now we're going to join this side along the sides here. Within the um, Amelia Arachne design, I'm twisting twice for anything that isn't the spider. So this green, which is going to come here to this outside edge, I'm twisting twice. So again, one, two, three, four, two over three, two and four back over one and three, two over three, place my pin. Oh, I haven't pre-poked this, so it's not going to go through. Let me grab a different pin that's easier. Okay, and now we're going to close the pin. Two over three, two and four over one and three, two over three. And again, now this isn't part of the spider. It's the outside edge, so I'm twisting twice. And this is part of the spider, so I'm twisting once. Close the pin, two over three, two and four over one and three, two over three. And now this orange is the outside edge, so we twist twice. The red is inside the spider, so it has one twist, two over three, two and four, back over one and three, two over three. Place my pin. Close the pin. And move on to the other half of the spider. So this orange or this yellow needs to work its way out. I work it up because it needs to go to that first pinhole. The orange needs to go to the second pinhole and the red to the third. So now we can close this spider along the outside edge. So this is the outside edge, two twists, one twist on the spider legs. Place the pin, close. This is the outside edge, so it has two twists. Close the pin. Outside edge has two twists. The spider leg has one twist. Place the pin. Close the pin. And now the red and the red are the outside edges of the spider. So they have two twists, place the pin, and close the pin. And that's how you do the spiders, and you move on to the next one and the next one, and keep working on them. So I'll be back again. Um, check out the next video where I show you how to finish the bookmark. Okay, last video. This is the end, and I want to show you one way that you can end your uh, bookmark. 
your last of the working pair and these are the two passive pairs. We're going to twist twice and then work the working pair through the two passives. Place my pin, twist my pair once, and bring it back. And now I'm moving on to the next pair hanging down. I'm going to twist it twice and now I'm going to work it through everything. Work it through all of the pairs, place my pin, and I'm going to work it through, I'm going to work it back through two pairs. One, two, and then I move on to the next. I'm going to twist twice, twist, twist, and work this orange thread all the way through all of them. Tension and place my pin. And now work this orange thread back through two pairs. One and two. And that's how it goes all the way down to the end. So twist, twist, work the yellow all the way through and back to. Place my pin. I'm going to tension. Make sure these threads are hanging down where I want them. And work this yellow back to. One, two. Green. Twist, twist. And work it all the way through. Place my pin and back through two pairs. Tension as I go to make sure the threads are hanging where I want them to. I grab my next color, twist, twist, work it all the way through. Place my pin and back through two pairs. And tensioning again as I go all the way down to the end. And that's how it goes on both sides. And I'll be back again once I've done both sides and show you how I'm going to make a knot here at the end. Okay, to end this bookmark pattern, what I'm going to do to create the tail, I haven't, um, I haven't used this last pin right there, the pinhole, um, but I've taken all of the bobbins off and I've taken care that I have the pair that goes along this outside edge here. And this is what I'm going to use to make my tail. Um, Tie it. I'm going to tie it once in the front. Make sure that all of the threads are where I want. I'm actually going to take out that last pin so that I can get a tighter a tighter knot here. And and go around and tie another knot here. And then I'm going to tie a knot in each of the pairs that I just used. And bring one of the pairs down with the rest of the tail. And tie a knot here. And then I'm going to use this pair to secure the tail. So it's a four knot. 
just like if you were making a friendship bracelet. And you do this as many times as you like. And that's it. I'm going to make a few more knots and then I will knot this pair of threads one more time to help secure it. Right here, I'm going to knot this one more time. Now I can tie, I can cut this tail wherever I like. Let me show you this one, which is already done. So you can see the ending from both sides. And there you have it. Um, please let me know how it goes for you and if you have any questions and I'll do my best to answer your questions in the comments below. Thanks so much.